In the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Paul, servant of Jesus Christ, writes to us as well as the people in Rome. He reminds us that uh, he's proclaimed, uh, Jesus is proclaimed Son of God in his power because it's proved by his resurrection from the dead he is living and we are called to be saints in his kingdom. So we've got the job following on. Our Lord has done it. We've got to do it, be saints, to follow his resurrection and new life. I celebrate this Mass for the happy repose of the soul of Frank Cummings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. From Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, who has been called to be an apostle and specially chosen to preach the good news that God promised long ago through his prophets in the scriptures. This news is about the Son of God, who, according to the human nature he took, was a descendant of David. It is about Jesus Christ, our Lord, who in the order of the Spirit the spirit of holiness that was in him was proclaimed Son of God in all his power through his resurrection from the dead. Through him we received grace and our apostolic mission to preach the obedience of faith to all pagan nations in honour of his name. You are one of those nations and by his call belong to Jesus Christ. To you all then, who are God's beloved in Rome, called to be saints, may God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ send grace and peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, bring out your joy. The Lord has made known his salvation. Hallelujah. 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 Because of your love, give me life, and I will do your will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gospel. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The crowds got even bigger and Jesus addressed them. This is the, a wicked generation. It's asking for a sign. The only sign it will be given is a sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. On Judgment Day, the Queen of the South will rise up with the men of this generation and condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. On Judgment Day, the men of Nineveh will stand up with this generation and condemn it because when Jonah preached, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our blessed Lord is uh, reminding us that if we've actually heard uh, our Lord speaking to our hearts, then He's the final word. We can avoid him for the rest of our lives, but he's still the final word. Uh, uh, and uh, we have to follow him. If we're going to have peace, if we're going to go rightly, we're not ignorant anymore. And uh, that's the sort of negative side of meeting our Lord. The positive side, of course, is that it's a joy to follow him, to walk his way. And uh, uh, the Pope is having this big synod, very funny word, which means meeting actually in Greek. It means uh, the path together, no, together the path, actually, in two words. We're all following a path together. We're people of the way who walk with Jesus securely to the future. He wants to consult everybody. So, uh, in his synod. So, uh, let's call to mind uh, that we can look at that statement of our Lord, which is a bit negative, saying, you know, that they saw me but didn't believe. Um, and that's going to do them harm, self-harm. We can look at it positively. Jesus the way to the future. And we pray that we'll follow him. Lord, hear us. We pray for many people today who um, have no, as it were, guide in life, no, no, no final goal beyond themselves. Uh, we pray that uh, when short-term things have run out, that they will think more deeply, consult their hearts, and find the real way in life. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. And we pray uh, for all those commended to our care, whether they're nearby or far away. We just remember the prisoners, for example, over the last weekend. We think of them. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Dear Lord, we pause in your presence now, holding up our cares, our needs to you in trust, knowing that you are present for us, you who live and reign forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord God. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my heart, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For all the glory and praise to the Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And we remember your servant, Frank, whom you've called 
from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Welcome then into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. O oh, him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all that is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. taking part in this Mass through the broadcast to make a spiritual communion, the prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Mm -hmm. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Uh, just to take one out of many things in the newsletter, um, our future uh, repeat of the um, main message of that meeting, if you weren't able to get to it. It's at Christ the King on Sunday the 24th of October in the evening, 6.15pm. So just a, just a thought that uh, those who couldn't get to the meeting, which was rather important, because it's beginning to open out uh, what the parish has been doing, put it all together over the last three years, which happens happily to coincide what Pope Francis is thinking as well. So, uh, um, uh, you know, there's lots of connections, so it, it, uh, we need to put it all together. And uh, that's a second opportunity to get a briefing on the big meeting at Rydal on the 11th of September. The Lord be with you. <laughs> May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thank you.